if you're like me, you probably came across the zebra stripes tool one day in SolidWorks. It's right there on the evaluate tab. You may have then wondered, what the heck is it for? I had a couple weird theories in the beginning, but none of them turned out to be right. When I'm not sure when something is in SOLIDWORKS, I can always just go to SOLIDWORKS help. Simply type in the search term, and it opens up in a web browser. And then we can investigate exactly what it's for. You can see here that it says zebra stripes allow you to see small changes in a surface that may be hard to see with the standard display. And it also says zebra stripes simulate the reflection of long strips of light on a very shiny surface. And then with that, you can easily see wrinkles or defects on a surface. I've actually seen real world examples of this. Here's a picture of my phone. The reflection is actually coming from the, the shades in the window. And you can see that there's definitely a defect where I've dropped my phone. We can see exactly how this would look inside of SOLIDWORKS. You'll notice that if I come in here and rotate this around, I can't actually see the defect. As soon as I turn zebra stripes on, it becomes apparent. The help menu also notes that zebra stripes can verify whether or not two adjacent faces are in contact, tangent, or a curvature continuous. You may already be familiar with curvature cones. Curvature cones are a graphical representation of the radius of curvature at any given point along a curve. You can see here that the curvature cones have the same magnitude, but they're not parallel where they meet. If we were to extrude this and then apply zebra stripes, you can see that none of the stripes would actually match up. This is indicative of C0 or contact continuity. You can see that these curvature cones are parallel with one another where they meet, however there's an instantaneous change in magnitude at the end points. If we were to extrude this and apply zebra stripes, you'll notice that while the stripes do line up, there's a definite jagged point where they meet. It's almost as if there's an edge there, that, even though we're not even showing the edges. This is indicative of C1 or tangent continuity. You'll notice in this example that the curvature cones blend into each other seamlessly. If we were to extrude this and apply zebra stripes, you notice that the zebra stripes blend into each other extremely smoothly and you can't tell where one face ends and one face begins. This is C2 or curvature continuous. So now let's take what we learned about zebra stripes and apply it inside of SOLIDWORKS. I've turned off the edges so that we don't necessarily know where they are. Now if we take a look at the interface for zebra stripes, we can see that the first dial is the number of stripes, which you can change depending upon the size or scale of your part. The second dial is the ratio of black to white, or the width of your stripes. You can usually just leave that one in the middle. And the third one is the stripe accuracy. Unless you have a huge part, you can always just crank that all the way up. Also, depending upon the way the, your part is oriented, you may want to switch between horizontal or vertical stripes. Now I can see that I clearly have an edge here, and we have stripes that do not line up with one another. Up here, I can see that there is clearly an edge right there, but the stripes do line up with one another. Now right here, I know there's edges, but I'm not sure 100% where they are because they're blended very well. As you may have guessed, this is C0, this is C1, and these are both C2 or curvature continuous. We can also see that when we take a look at the curvature cones, these combs do not line up with one another. These do line up with one another, but they have an abrupt change in the magnitude of curvature, whereas these curvature combs both line up with one another parallel and are blended into one another in size. This also occurs with fillets. If I take a look at my fillets right here, turn my zebra stripes back on, you can see that we seem to have C1 right here, and right here we have C2. That's because this fillet is curvature continuous. If I change this to circular fillet, standard fillet, we now have C1. Now this one isn't a standard fillet. This is actually a conic. A conic, while it is a nicer shape, 
uh, and has a smoother blend to it, it does not necessarily guarantee C2 continuity. Hopefully this has given you a better understanding of what zebra stripes are for and a better plan of attack for the next time that you find a button and you're not sure what it does.